Hi guys, hope you all are well. Today's video will be our first voiceover video on Mango Edits 2001. So let's get started. So viewers, in episode number 57, it is shown that Cavord Bay is praying at his son's grave and murmurs some words against Alparslan. And suddenly, the Byzantine commander Leon comes there with his soldiers, and he spoke some sarcastic words in Cavord Bay's ear, on which Cavord gets angry, and he says to Leon that this was all your plan and you have done everything. Then the two of them start fighting, and Cavord Bay attacks Leon with a dagger, while Leon tries to calm Cavord Bay down. A spy is hiding nearby and listening to the two of them. Then he sees Cavord Bay in trouble and is about to leave for reinforcement. Meanwhile, suspicious words are heard in his ears. He is startled and continues to spy on them. Both of them continue to fight. Leon says that if you support me, we can win in our cause and no one can stop us from doing so. Cavord Bay considers her offer, but does not respond, and Cavord Bay leaves in anger. After all this, Cavord Bay goes to one of his commanders and asks him to prepare the army to attack the Akja Fort, and the commander leaves after listening to them, while Cavord Bay feels that someone is spying on them. After searching here and there, Cavord Bay finds the spy and points the sword at him, but the spy pushes them away and runs away. Cavord Bay also follows him, because if they don't, their secret will be revealed. They shoot an arrow at the spy, which injures him, but spy successfully reaches the palace. When he reaches the palace, the soldiers ask him who did this to him. He points to Cavord Bay to tell, but before he can say anything, he faints. Yassin, who is Alp Arslan's special man, also arrives and checks on the spy, while Cavord casually says, take him to the doctor, so that no one doubts him. Yassin keeps a part of the arrow embedded in his body, seeing which Cavord Bay decides to kill the spy. The next scene shows Cavord Bay entering the infirmary and waiting for everyone to leave. When everyone leaves, Cavord Bay tries to suffocate the spy with a pillow and succeeds in killing him. While Yassin also informs Sultan Alp Arslan about the matter, Sultan Alp Arslan says that the problem is important and I will solve it myself as to who killed the spy. And this issue may be more important than my life. And they follow the clues to the place where the spy escaped from Cavord Bay. Suddenly, Sultan Alp Arslan's eyes fell on a dagger stuck in a tree, and Yassin recognized the dagger and said it belonged to Cavord Bay. And now Alp Arslan gets suspicious of his brother Cavord. They also visit the grave of Cavord Bay's son, where they find a button that was broken during a fight between Leon and Cavord, and his suspicion turns to conviction that his brother is a traitor. The end. So viewers, this was today's first voiceover video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you don't like it, please give me your feedback to improve the videos. Thank you.